Hey folks, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name is Tom and thank you so much for joining me here today on my YouTube channel. This is a little video showing you how to do some jazzy embellishments on popular standards. We've picked for this lesson Lullaby of Birdland, made famous by the George Shearing Quintet all those years ago. In this video, I'm going to show you some very simple, very effective ideas of how to improvise around the melody. And if you'd like to obtain a PDF for this lesson, simply sign up on patreon.com and support Keyboard Skills Pro. The link for this is down in the description. But if you sign up for patreon.com, you'll be able to help me produce more and better videos every month and also get bonus PDFs as well. Okay, let's first of all take the original melody for Lullaby of Birdland. And the jazzed up version might sound something like this. Okay, so how did we get there? Well, we did some basic things to the melodic line because a lot of people think improvising has got to be And yes, it can be like that, but it doesn't have to be. It can be quite simple to do some very easy variations on the melody. So let's begin, and I'm going to put some music on the screen here. This is all available in the PDF, so I've spent some time doing this for you, and this music is purely for uh, educational use only. So here we go with the opening line. Okay, so da 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 da. And then instead of going E, G, F sharp, we're going to go a little backwards uh, alternating between E, G and E. So we're going to go... Hey, that sounds good, doesn't it? So there we're going E, G, E, F sharp. So it's very similar to the melody, but we've just done a little bit of variation. Make sure then that that rest is then heard at the beginning of the music. Rest. Rest. Okay, so at the end there, I do this. So instead of going E, D, C, I include the E an octave higher look. So I'm going E, D, E flat, then finishing on the C. And that's a really effective first four bars. We're keeping fairly close to the original melody, but by inserting a couple of embellishment notes. So let's try that, that right hand again from the beginning. Okay, see that there? E, G, E, F sharp. Then we're going to go da, 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 rest. E flat, D, E flat, C. And that's a really nice little variation. Then we carry on to the next line. So what am I doing there? Well, I'm stressing playing a slightly more triplety kind of feel, and I'm making sure that the long notes, G, G flat, have a good long length on them. So we've inserted there some tenuto marks. and different ways of playing the rhythm there. Okay. Da, 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 da. So we're gonna basically now play that through nice and slowly, adding those extra touches. Here we go. Put the rest in. Okay, so that's the first eight bars. Notice at the beginning as well, I also inserted a G minor six chord, and you get that on the left hand by playing G minor and adding an E to the top. Okay, so a nice little bit of color there from G minor six. Let's hear that through with the style.
Okay, sounding pretty good. We're opening up the song as they tend to do in jazz music by including the original melody line. Let's take a look at my next idea. Here we go uh, again, we're going to have the next reprise of the music. But this time we're going to change it from this to this. Alright, so what do we do there? Well, we start on the D at the top, and instead of going down the scale, we're going to go up the scale to F via E flat. and then over to G, so we finish on the same note, you see. So D, E, F, E, D, C, B flat, G. And then over to E. Okay, so that shows how a simple way to improvise can simply just be a scale. Nothing more complicated than that. Okay, A7. Very nice, very effective. And here we go with the next bit. So instead of going... Okay, we're going to use a little trick we did at the beginning where we're going to go up above the melody note. So... Now the reason we can fit this extra note in is if you notice here, the D, A, G, which is the original melody line, we're going to move the A to the end of the first beat which gives us space to insert on the second beat, this B-flat, to then go back down to G. So it's one and two and three rest, and then we'll do the same on the next bar. E, move the D to the end of the first beat, insert an E-flat, and then you can finish on C. Okay, let's do that line again. Very nice. Now, sometimes you can do little, very quick little decorations. Okay, so the next part, we're going to come down the scale, look. Very quick little decoration there. C, and instead of going to B, I'm gonna go up to D, quickly then go through C to B flat. The original. Very fast. Then we do the the, uh, the the G's and the F's in our bar. Make sure those have a good hold. And then up. Up an octave there with a little ending, you see. Okay, so that's really nice. So notice there how we're still staying as we said, fairly safe and fairly um, true to the original uh, piece of music, but we are embellishing very nicely with some jazzy styles. Okay, so let's now hear that whole first 16 bars with those embellishments and solos added. Here we go. Scale, up, up again, down we come, quick bit, and up. Okay, so that's very nice. Now you can play that at that speed, you want to play a bit slower, whatever suits you is absolutely fine. Now, what we're going to do here now is we're going to go into the middle eight of this song. So for now, have a little try at that first bit. If you like those embellishments, put them in. And if you don't play this song in uh, G minor, I play it in E minor myself. But you'll be able to add those bits. Etc. You better have those little runs and things in. So as you can see, very simple little little uh, touches, but very very effective. Okay, let's take a look at the next section. One of the easiest ways to make a jazz chord is to play a thirteenth. Play a G chord like this, 
and then simply move the bottom note down to F and the top note up. So imagine it's stretching. The middle stays the same, stretching out, and you get G13, G713. There you go, nice chord, very jazzy. And you can see that here. I've also brought the D in at the end of the previous bit. So one, so that comes on the fourth beat. Let's put an F9 in here, so we have a G. Okay, let's take a little look at that bit there. So we're going da 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 dum. So instead of just staying there, we're going to fill in the rest of the bar. So we're going to go D, B flat A, D, G, F, C. So it's just like a little bit of decoration. Which leads on to the D. Okay, here we go again. Ba -da, ba -da, da da So you can imagine the horns going, and then there's a weepy old willow, he really knows how to cry. That's what the band would fill in, okay? So that's what we're trying to do there. So that's a nice little touch. Okay, there, look, on that bar, instead of going, we do a little up look, up and down and down. So that's like a little turn. So it's just, just little filling in notes, you see. F7. Now here, we do another scale look. So we're going through the scale. D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C, C sharp, leading to G minor. So scales are very, very effective. Let's take that whole section through again. Play an octave lower for a bit of fun. Okay, ba, 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 ba. Oh, missed it. Up. There we go, and then up again. And then scale. Back into the head. Now this time, instead of going up, come down from the octave above. So listen to how that sounds different, look. Simple this is, look, here's the original. Here's the alter version. Take that bottom note, the D and the E flat, and just move them up, and then come down to those notes. Doesn't that sound fantastic? So simple, just moving the note one higher. Here's the last line. And the end. So there you go. So some simple ideas there on how to improvise on uh, nice standards like that using Lullaby of Birdland as an example. Now, if you'd like to get your bonus PDF on those particular embellishment, sign up and support my video production here on Keyboard Skills Pro via patreon.com. In the meantime, let's finish off, let's cheat, we'll have the automatic harmony and we'll get the full George Shearing band and let's see what it sounds like when we play Lullaby Birdland with lots of embellishments. In the meantime, please do hit subscribe, thanks ever so much for watching and thanks to everyone who supports me here on my channel. Every week I try and upload a new video, and if you've not seen some of the videos on here, there's organ, keyboard, piano, and music theory. Thanks ever so much for watching, and let's finish off with jazzy embellishments on Lullaby of Birdland. Mm -hmm.